Hi, I'm Carmen Shamas. Uh, today I will talk about Saturday, the 4th of May. Today the moon is in Pisces for the second consecutive day, which means that uh, today uh, uh, can be and should be a very nice, beautiful Saturday if you're Pisces, Cancer, if you're Scorpio. The moon will stay in Pisces till 8.45 p.m. Universal Time. After that, it moves to Aries. If you're watching me from the Americas, most probably the moon will be in, uh, will stay in Pisces till around uh, uh, afternoon. After that, it is in Aries. So let's break down this day. Starting with Aries, with Venus, uh, with the Mars in your sign, there can be some, uh, I will not say problems, maybe some question marks. While the moon is in Pisces, things get better, smoother when the moon moves to your sign. But still, you need to be careful if you are under the influence of planet Mars, meaning if you were born between the 23rd and the 25th of March, drive carefully. And uh, uh, be extra careful uh, under the influence of the moon in Pisces because things may not go uh, well at all, astrologically speaking. Okay, let's move now to Taurus. I love this day. The moon in Pisces is uh, uh, is very generous with you. It's very helpful, pampers you, gives you almost everything you want. When the moon moves to um, uh, Aries, things uh, are on hold. You may not hear, you may, you may not get the email that you want, you may not hear that uh, good news. So what you have to do is uh, um, wrap it up uh, and before 8.45 p.m. Universal Time. After that, try to enjoy a calm, smooth and easy going uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. Moving to Gemini, the moon in Pisces may not may not pamper you uh, as much as you thought, but then when the moon moves to Aries, things get a little bit better and you will feel a little bit more uh, interested in things around you. But nevertheless, uh, I would think I would advise you astrologically to avoid getting into problems this Saturday, especially um, till 8.45 p.m. Universal Time. The quality of time is not helpful at all. Cancer, of course, it's a beautiful day. The effects of the um, uh, of the moon, uh, Saturn and, Pis and Neptune in Pisces is uh, the effect is beautiful. Um, this threesome is actually very helpful and they bring, bring extra good news. Uh, whatever you do will be uh, blessed astrologically and whatever you want to do can and should be done under the influence of the moon in Pisces if you want it to be well uh, well done and uh, uh, and very rewarding. When the moon moves to um, Aries at uh, 8.45 p.m. Universal Time, things are not that smooth and you would have to actually uh, get it yourself. Moving to Leo, Leo, the moon in Aries is the part of the day uh, which gets more interesting, um, very interesting, or maybe a little bit interesting, because the moon in Pisces is not helpful that much and actually is a bit demanding. It needs some time from you. It needs you to cooperate, needs you to uh, actually to... Um, uh, to cooperate and collaborate actually. So basically what you have to do if you really want to enjoy this Saturday, uh, take it easy, be flexible, then you will have uh, better moments with the moon and um, with the moon in, in, um, in Aries. Uh, so, and you will have some, um, some great energy positive energy because of the effects of uh, Mars in Aries if you were born between the 25th and the 27th of July. Let's, um, but still, uh, excuse me, because planet Pluto opposes your sign, uh, try to be careful and be wise with your uh, with using, you know, uh, with uh, investing this energy. Let's move now to Virgo. I know that you don't feel that great with the effects of the moon in uh, Virgo, in, in Pisces. Uh, there are some troubles around. Maybe you have some ideas that they're not uh, actually um, uh, very uh, helpful, you think. 
add to it that Saturn and Neptune also oppose your sign. So your mood may not be that, uh, uh, that, uh, that easy and people around you may complain. However, everything starts, this cloud starts to move away as soon as the moon reaches, uh, Aries at 8.45 p.m. Universal Time. Only then things start to um, get easier, happier, and more uh, interesting. Plan accordingly. Stay away from trouble if you were born on the 9th or 10th of September. Libra, uh, Libra, the moon in Pisces actually um, likes to help you, would like to help you, would like to collaborate with you, but still it um, it brings more work and work to your desk. So there are things that you have to do, tasks, maybe uh, personal issues, family tasks, you know, children, family, parents, spouse, whatever, the supermarket, uh, going to the mall, whatever. Uh, maybe you just want to pamper yourself, but when the moon moves to Aries, you will not have time to do um, many, many um, rewarding things because maybe it's your uh, your mood or maybe it's the mood of others, the way you see things. So things may get a little bit um, uh, rough or maybe uh, complicated or maybe just normal, you know, whereas with the moon in Pisces, things were a little bit kind of interesting. So uh, plan accordingly. Scorpio, of course, I love the effects of the, uh, of the uh, triple trine of the moon, Neptune and Saturn uh, from Pisces. This is a great situation, planetary situation, condition, and I think you should bask in this beautiful uh, effect, water effect. So whatever you want to do, anything complicated that you have not done or wrapped up on on Friday, yesterday, you should wrap it up and work on it on Saturday the 4th. It is a beautiful day. And if you're listening to this video on Friday, you have all night long with the beautiful effects of this triple trine. When the moon moves to Pisces, you still have the effects of Neptune and Saturn, but the moon is in um, is in, and is in Libra, is, excuse me, is in Aries, which means that it's, uh, it gets, it's getting a little bit serious. Let's move now to uh, Sagittarius. I love this day, Sagittarius, because although the moon, you may complain of the effects of the moon, family things, running, dashing, no time for yourself, uh, things will change dramatically to your favor as soon as the moon reaches, uh, uh, Libra, uh, reaches Aries at 8.45 p.m. Universal Time, which is afternoon uh, in the in the American continent. So things are going to turn, uh, are, are going the right way, the best way, the, ha the happy way, as soon as the moon moves to uh, Aries. And the um, and uh, add to it that planet Mars is also there, which means there's a lot of uh, spice going around, a lot of energy, a lot of interesting um activities going around so it's not going to be a boring saturday afternoon or evening moving to capricorn i love the effect of the moon in uh, in pisces definitely it's very interesting it's very helpful it's uh, uh, it's uh, very encouraging definitely when the moon moves to aries uh, maybe you would like to you you'd prefer to settle down and avoid uh, uh, being in control, you know, you would like maybe someone to take over. So try to enjoy the beautiful, uh, heavy activity going around um, uh, with you, around you when the moon is in Pisces. As for uh, Aquarius, I love this day, whether the moon is in Pisces or in uh, or in Aries, it is a beautiful day, very active, very interesting, very rewarding, as long as you know what you have on your agenda. Try to be precise with your work, um, try to wrap things up, uh, try to um, make everything clear, especially everything you have to say or even sign. Planet Pluto, um, wants you and needs you to be very precise and careful with whatever, whatever you say or even sign if you were born on the 22nd, 23rd of January. Let's uh, move now to Pisces with the moon in your sign. Uh, there is so much happiness going around, astrologically speaking, so you have to enjoy uh, you should enjoy, you can enjoy, there is no reason whatsoever not to enjoy the beautiful 
um, vibes coming from the moon in Pisces. I know Saturn is also there and Neptune is also there, but the moon in Pisces will help you to have a beautiful, beautiful time. Just try to be more careful with, um, uh, don't exaggerate and don't exceed the limits of whatever it is if you were born on the 6th, 7th, 8th of um, March. Okay, let's uh, wrap it up with born on the 4th. This should be a beautiful uh, year. This should be a very eventful year, very interesting. Uh, there are so many things to do. Public relations is under the 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 as a career uh, is under the spotlights you can do so many things you can enjoy uh, physical activities like um, uh, sports uh, if you're an athlete if you want to join a club if you want to move into some uh, community activities if you want to uh, join maybe a social club this is going to be a beautiful year and uh, professionally this is a beautiful year where you seem to be to play a very important role um, uh, professionally. It is a year that should move forward astro uh, astrologically, definitely, and you can make a big uh, positive change. So basically, this is it. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.